Jose V. Straight Bet Sports, Gorilla Cross Radio Network, here at Cashman Field, hanging out with New Lights FC head man, Frank Wallop. Frank, welcome to Las Vegas. How has your stay been here so far with us? It's been great. Yes, uh, working with the guys has been, uh, been excellent. And, um, pretty excited to be here. So what prompted your move to come here so quickly, knowing that the season is shortened and coming into a team that was pretty much set by another individual already? Yeah, well, basically, uh, myself and Brett spoke uh, probably 10 days ago now, something like that. And, um, you know, it's, you know, I actually texted him just to help him out if I could help out with any kind of situation, getting another coach in or, or whatever it was. And uh, we just got chatting and, and I was kind of in between projects. And um, I half jokingly <laughs> start with said, um, you know, I, I could come and help you out if you really, you know, want me to do that. He didn't want a long term thing right now. He wants a bit of time to especially at this time of, of the COVID-19 stuff. So just needed someone to come in for this season, uh, run it through, and then give some time to build and get, get the right person moving forward for the future for, uh, you know, Las Vegas Lights. So you bring a lot of experience to this team, especially with your background, with your pedigree in the English Premier League, in the MLS. What are you telling these guys that you can let them know about your knowledge, your experience that they might not already have in their mind moving into this shortened season coming up? Yeah, I mean, it is a short season, so we've probably had together maybe six or so training sessions. We've got a game on the 25th, so it's coming up quick. But, um, you know, I mean, I've been around the block a little bit, not just playing-wise, but coaching-wise. And, and uh, any, uh, what I like about this group, they're very receptive to, to uh, the coaching. And as we, I haven't coached much yet because it's, it's getting to know the players. I like to do that, let them, let them flow and play and just kind of add stuff as I go along. And then we're really you know, getting closer to the game. We can start to really ramp up with our tactics and set plays and stuff like that but right now we just I just want to get him get him in good habits with and without the ball and um, they're working hard and trying hard so that's, that's a good start so what has been or what do you see being one of the biggest obstacles for you this season like I said coming into a shortened season with a team that you haven't coached yet yeah I mean obviously not knowing the players is, is never easy but I'm getting I can usually get going pretty good and uh, get to know the players quickly um, we have a tough group i'll tell you that you know we got phoenix are a very 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 good side san diego uh, la galaxy 2 and uh, orange county so you know those teams and us and those those are five good teams in this league so um that's not going to be easy i think maybe a little bit behind eight ball with the with the training and the testing but again no excuses We're, we'll be ready to go on the 25th and um for us it's just a good getting a good two and a half weeks or so of training and ready and, and be prepared for that first game. How have the guys welcomed you and your training style so far here? I think it's been good, yeah, we've been receptive and, um, you know, again, we've just been playing, all, uh, well, today was a, a good playing day, so I can get them opened up, see what they're all about, you know, because in the end, you can do small-sided stuff, you can, you can kind of bog them down with coaching, but in the end, really, they just want to get playing and I can really assess them in the bigger field and, um, you know, playing the real game. Once again, we are here with Frank Wallop, new head man of the Las Vegas Lights FC. So once again, someone like yourself with the type of pedigree that you have and the experience begs the difficult question, why not stay long term? Why stay only a short term? Do you already have prior engagements or is it just you want to come in, see what you could do here, help Brett get the right person and move on? Yes, you said them both. Actually, I got another, <laughs> I got another project I'm going to uh, real soon uh, after this is probably in, uh, beginning of next year. Um, it was a perfect timing where, and Brett wants that time to get someone that's going to be here for a number of years. And he said he's had two, sort of two head coaches in, in you know, a couple of years or two, two and a half years. And he wants to get maybe some stability and, and some continuity. So if I can help with that process, you know, um, I'm here to offer all my experience and help in, in guiding him in the right decisions. But obviously it's, you know, nothing's set in stone and nothing's easy. Um, but hopefully I, we can work together and, and accomplish having a, you know, a good, Good season, um, although shortened. Um, you know, set ourselves up and, and play well, and then uh, you know, assess the players to make sure that they're strong for next year, and then and then kind of go from there, and um, you know, hopefully build a great uh, great franchise. Because off off the field, fan fan wise, it's been unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's packed, it's really exciting, and and then when you come to the stadium, it's got that buzz. Um, so now, hopefully, we can get the soccer side to just to make in the playoffs is something special in any sport. So that's what we're aiming to do next season. Hopefully this year, but definitely building forward for next year. So you brought up the fans, so I'll make this our final question here. No word on when the fans will be allowed back in the stands, but the fans will be watching from home. Yeah. What can they expect for the rest of this season? 
Well, I mean, you know, like I said before, the guys are going to work hard, they're going to be organised, they're going to be uh, ready to go. Um, we're playing against some talented teams and that have played together quite a bit. So, um, you know, for us, it, it's, it's just making sure that we, you know, make a good account of ourselves in every game we play. And we had a great, great result in San Diego to start the season out. Um, one, one tie away from home is never, never bad. Um, should have won that game, to be honest. We could have had three points already. It wasn't to be for whatever reason. And, you know, now we've got to go back there and try and get the three points uh, in the next match. And we've got 15 games to, to really, you know, have, enjoy this, the rest of the season. Hopefully we have enough points to make the playoffs. And, and like I said to the guys, who knows what can happen once you make the playoffs. You know, we could go ahead and, and win the whole thing. But uh, first things first, I just want to get us, these guys organized and make sure they play well and, uh, and really fight hard for the, the crest on their chest. Once again, here's Frank Wallop, new head man of the Las Vegas Lights. Coach, best of luck to you this season. Thanks again for your time. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.